Hi everyone, it's Father John Berry. God be with you on this Tuesday in Lent, March 15th. And our opening collect for the church for its masses around the world. Guard your church, we pray, O Lord, in your unceasing mercy, and since without you mortal humanity is short of to fall, may we be kept by your constant helps from all harm and directed to all that brings salvation through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. That opening prayer really connects to yesterday when we were asking the Lord for direction uh, because it says here in the opening collect, since without you mortal humanity is sure to fall, sure to fail. We, uh, we need Jesus, we need him and his help. Uh, so we're in this book and today uh, it, it talks about knowing Jesus in a more personal way. And they're trying to unpack the, the gospel of the second week of Lent, which is right behind us, the transfiguration, okay? And then uh, for the exercise of prayer, it wants you to connect that to, the, to Jesus taking on evil in, the, um, in the, the man on the island that was possessed and Jesus sends the uh, evil into the swine, if you remember that story. And then you journal. So as you're journaling, I think, uh, journal with what gets into your heart and what f fixes your attention. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll continue what I had worked on yesterday in my faith journey, in my, in my pondering of things Lent-wise, heading to Easter. So this is what I was pondering uh, into today's uh, meditation. I was thinking of the transfiguration and God revealing himself. And uh, he, he has this mighty, wondrous, powerful light about him on the mountain and yet he has been using the the force of his divine being but he is living like the earthly man but he is God among us um, he can use that power at any time so the get us the, the man on the Gesserine I forget the name of that territory uh, the uh, where the where the man is the violent man um, Jesus is not afraid, he just, you know, the other apostles are saying, do you sure we want to get up to this guy? He just, he just beats up and assaults everybody that comes near him. But the man even recognized God in Jesus, the, the man with the demons, is the demons that are speaking. So it's interesting, there's something going on in the spiritual realm that we don't even know. Because this man was so much under a legion of demons that he recognizes the Christ. <laughs> and the rest of us in humanity aren't getting it. But I was thinking of, of the, the brilliance of Jesus on the Transfiguration Mount. And I was thinking that uh, I was once on a mountain in Medjugorje in Croatia. And uh, I was also in the town where there was su supposed Marian seers, people that were getting apparitions of Our Lady. And so I can say that, that being around some of them uh, for like two weeks, there was like a, a radiance on their face. Almost like when Moses came down the mountain, you know, and he was radiant with the face. There was a ser serenity and a calm and a holiness about them. And I thought, that's a change of countenance. Um, I think the Peter, James, and John coming down the mountain would have certainly been affected by the, by the, by the you know, the Lord of light Another transfiguration that I see uh, often is in, in weddings, when the bride comes down the aisle, especially when it, she's, she's been prepared for this, a big moment wedding, when, she's, when this is the moment they, they truly come together. Um, and the groom, I'm standing with him, and I can sometimes hear the groom uh, gasp in excitement. Um, when the bride is coming down the aisle. It's nice when the bride doesn't let herself be seen by the groom until that moment um, and in her dress that he hasn't seen her yet in the dress. <clears throat> and it's just, a, it's, it's kind of an awesome moment. Um, I have to say some of, the, some of the men also clean up well. Sometimes I, I've seen the men and what they look like <laughs> pre-wedding and at the wedding 
<clears throat> though they don't take hours to get ready, I can see that everything is 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 at their best, and uh, I think that's something. I think uh, when we are on retreats, uh, sometimes we we also have this this glow about us. Have you ever gone on to a a retreat somewhere and just been somewhere very special and had a chance to to really um, feel and be in the spirituality of who you are? Um, I was thinking of that too, and sometimes coming back from a, a special retreat, even just a special vacation experience where you really are taking time for the peace of mind and goodness of soul, that um, that there's a there's kind of a transfiguration moment. Uh, the last image I, I had was of of a mount, being on a mountaintop. I I went mountain climbing with somebody off the coast of uh, Washington, along the Pacific coast. Very foggy in that area uh, at times, and uh, like San Francisco gets foggy. And uh, so we were walking really in a lot of mist and a lot of cloudiness, and it was gray. And then we got up to the peak, and we were at the peak, all of a sudden we were above the clouds, above it, and we could see the, the brilliance of the sun and we could see further away, and we could see, you know, the countryside, and you could see some of it under a layer of clouds. But then as we stayed up there and the clouds passed and everything cleared, all of a sudden you can see so much. And I think in Lent, this is one of the goals, is to, is to be with the Lord long enough and to walk high enough in, in, in spirit with Him so that He can show things to us. Uh, maybe not as dramatic as Peter, James, and John, but that's all right. We'll take what the Lord wants to give to us today. This is Father John Barry. Thank you. And today's gospel, you'll be uh, going on a trip with, uh, oh, Matt, I guess it's uh, Matthew, and he's talking about the scribes and the Pharisees who uh, kind of shortchange God. And so that just fits right in if you're at daily Mass or reading the daily gospel that we don't want to shortchange God like they did. We want to be open to all the graces of Jesus Christ in our lives. Amen.